Hi everyone, come on in. In this video, I will share with you my workflow to use Defoss clothing to create my latest piece, A Girl and Her Dragon. Defoss is a great feature that allows realistic flow and draping of dresses at the cost of simulation time and planning your animation timeline upfront. The following tutorial teaches you how to achieve great results using proper workflow. Yeah, so this is uh, an example of the end result that we will achieve. Okay, in a very simple standing pose where your character does not interact with any objects, then Defoss is very simple to use. You just dress your character in a defaults compliant clothing and then you go into the simulation setting and you can basically use all the default setting and just click on simulate then the the engine will go from the a pose and transition into your final pose so in this tutorial we want to achieve the result where the model is sitting on the rock and the clothes drapes over it um, correctly so um, you may not have the same objects as i do but any kind of a uh, clothing that's default compliant is okay and you don't need the same background as I have as well. You, ju you just need a simple cube that will do. Okay. So, let's just say you have already created your scene and you put in your background and everything. So the first thing you always should do is um, Make sure that your timeline don't have any other additional movement. So to ensure that you go to click on your model under parameters, clear animation, clear figure pose. That should remove all the actions on the timeline. Okay, all of you should be uh, uh, the A pose or the T pose. Mm -hmm depending you are using a Genesis 3 or 8. Okay. So the very first step is, so you start from the default poses, you go to frame 30. Okay, then you can select a sitting pose from from the content library, the poses that you have. Okay, ensure that after you select it, um, the timeline is animating it correctly and it's not, the, the whole thing is not just the sitting pose by itself. Okay, then the second step we want to do is we want to create a primitive shape okay so we select cube and we just use a default uh, one meter and one divisions so that is the simplest the simplest object and so it will improve the simulation speed so you just uh, resize this to uh, approximate shape and size as the piece of rock that your model is sitting on so just resize it okay it's around the same rotate it a bit Okay. 
Okay. Okay, so once you are done, you want to move the rock out of the way. Sorry, I mean, you want to move the primitive cube out of the way so that it's not touching your character. Yeah, something like this will be fine. Okay, so okay, you want to drag your animation slider to frame thirty. Okay, make sure your cube is still selected. Then you click on the create a keyframe. Okay, so that the full duration between zero to thirty will stay on this position. Now we want to create one more frame keyframe at number 60. Um, if your animation slider don't have this frame 60, just, just key in over here the total, just key in 61, then you should be able to select it. So what we, after that is done, so what you want to do is from 60, you want to move it back into the sitting position. So you want to slide it, you want to make the movement as uh, smooth as possible. Yeah, it's going to need some practice here. So uh, in order to help visualize, just uh, to remove everything. Okay, so your result will end up something like this. Right. Uh, make sure that the cube is close to your character body, but it's not touching it. Just leave a few pixel space, because if the if the cloth is squeezed between your model and the cube, uh, it will go into some explosion. So before we perform the simulation, all right, just check that everything is makes sense. So you go from um, frame zero, okay, your character should be in the default pose. So when you slide all the way to 30, the model should be in the pose, the final pose that she's supposed to be. And from 30 to 60 onward, the cube will slide into place and push all the clothing into the final position. So uh, one more tip is uh, remember to hide everything that is possible and that you don't want to be part of the collision. So there are two ways to do it. You can group you can group up all the objects and you can activate and hide it in one go or you can individually go to each object and switch on the visible either it's on or off so once you have all this uh, option performed then you can try to simulate um, Remember to use the use timeline play range and yeah this one you can put it to off as well since your character is already from the default post. So yeah um, if you have any issue feel free to ask in the comment and thanks for watching. So this is the end result after my simulation and some post work is done.
Yeah, this is a fine dress. Um, I love the dragon it's hanging around the shoulder. Okay, guys, <laughs> until next time.